Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Solo React Talk. Tonight, I'm going to be reacting to if the Bimra had a text to speech device, Special 7 Space Game Pain, uh, made by Bruva Alpha Brusa. If you guys want to check out my previous reactions to the other episodes of If the Emperor Had a Text to Speak, If the Emperor Had it, If the Emperor Had a Text to Speech Device, <laughs> sorry. Uh, remember, the playlist card is going to be at the top here. Just click on it, and you you'll be able to access it. If you want to check out the original video as well as Bruva Alpha Booster's YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. Okay, let us start. Oh yes, I saw Stellaris on the uh, on the thumbnail, so yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> Let's see it. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. I cannot comprehend that I actually accredited game company came in contact with us and wanted us to make this video free reign with the script and everything. They just wanted us specifically make a TTS video, but in Stellaris. Ah, oh, that's it. I, as a horrid little YouTube gremlin, I am not used to being recognized from accredited com by great conglomerates of actual professionals, especially in regards to pertaining up officially with them. It's exceedingly weird and generally one of the most exciting things to have ever happened to me. With that, I really hope you enjoy this video for that, for what it is. We put a lot of effort into making, uh, making it a video worthy of the channel. Thanks to Paradox for making this happen. Oh, and a special thanks to my boy DJ Truth truthsayer for insisting on us working on this project at our speed without crunch and without deliberately ignoring work on future episodes for the sake of getting this done ah, well done guys well done let us see it uh, a Gaia world the music. <laughs> yes, yes. Lads! It is time we left the cradle to head into the vast unknown. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, we'll meet some friends. <laughs> Rise from the ashes! Claim your birthright! Is this the... Uh, Brima? The Emperor? Yeah, I think this is him, okay. But then who are the people beside him? <laughs> Space! Science teams! Greetings! It is I, Sir Science! Report back with any findings as soon as said findings are found. I cannot wait to meet whatever other species might roam this galaxy. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Uh, I can't. The Emperor's preparing for war already. <laughs> uh, this, good job. Good job, Emperor. Yes, this is how you should place the Laris. You know, not, not talking about peace and, and searching the galaxy and, and researching and. Uh, uh, no, no, no. None of that stuff. No. You get your armies ready. You know, you get your, your your fleets ready for conquest immediately. No excuses. Not wait to murder whatever foul Xenos the Permeator has. The golden age of mankind has arrived, and it has arrived with a big gun. They can talk, and they want to talk to us. Lads, lads, our first transmission from another species. Salutations, other species. I am known as the trustworthy, a.k.a. the reliable, a.k.a. the undeceiving, a.k.a. the very nice creature that wants to trade with you. Hello, hi. That's a lie. You, what, what are they called? Pashati absorbers. Yeah. You guys, you guys take dead bodies and, you know, make more of your own people. No, you're lying. You are lying. Greetings, one of massive name. I too have a massive name. <laughs> I shall call you Kitty. Please! Do not. 
We have broken many leashes to be rid of such names. Ah, then I will disgrace you no further, for I am very nice. Also, would you like to trade? Both our societies will surely benefit from our mutual discovery of one another. Oh, d certainly. But you haven't begun the discussions about, you know, non-aggression pact, you know, migration, uh, research, technology, uh, agreements, and then would come the economic benefits, you know, the economic exchange as well. But anyways, I, I can see that this guy is really, uh, you know, busy. He wants to do this as fast as possible. What's your end game, Pashati Absorber? What's your end game? I don't trust you. Yes, I have no ulterior motives. You lie. What a strange thing to say. Would you like to join my friend group? Yes, it begins. <gasps> Mind boggling. I cannot believe we have confirmed the existence of alien life. We are not alone out here. Hear my words, Feloy. Oh, shit. I am Eldad, long wizard of the space elves. Oh, goodness gracious. You shall burn as a lone candle in this morass of blackest tar. The one who must light the swamp of nihilism become the light at the end of this grim dark tunnel of future year. Santodis, please block him. He's ruining my immersion. I shall employ my great science knowledge! <laughs> hmm. Blocklist evaluator. Add them to the list of fool boy losers that we hate. Zima! Listen well, for I have come to bargain. Hold now! You cannot just burst into people's comms in such a manner. Yes, I can! Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. That's what I do all the time. <laughs> Who are you? You look primitive, and I shall judge you for this. I am the Not God King Supreme. My offer is this. Blink and you'll miss it. Leave my galaxy or super die. Acting a power fantasy? Yes. I assume it involves not sitting. Stop ruining my immersion! Stop ruining the galaxy! No! As you have refused to accept the offer, you shall now be accredited as the first aggressor. Uh, please lower your shields and prepare for the grand prize! Your rampant disregard for the balance of power will be your undoing. Reverse your march, lest you damn us all to one of three most grim dark fates. Oh, shut it! <laughs> one of three. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> I wonder which one of the three is going to appear. I'm really wondering now. Mm, which crisis, guys? You're the absolute worst! You are not being clever, your portals of doom suck, and I'm sick of your garbage! Oh, 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 wow! No! You are doing exactly what everyone here is sick of! Your empire is just a heap of haha -ha, funny scream heresy crusade oppressing kill! You are literally just creating worst empire in this galaxy. Have you not actually realized this? I have! And actually being able to control it is part of the power fantasy. Ugh, oh, you are the worst. And that is enough causes belly to annihilate you. Farewell into hell! We have declared the war on the nauseating, abominable, contemptible, loathsome, revolting, despicable, heinous, wretched, vile, foul, reprehensible, misbegotten Xenos. Admirals of note and leaders of my subject empires. Through the power of blue space drugs, we have become omniscient. I speak to you, my favorite children. Now, my darling daughter, the celestial space wizard. Where is this voice coming from? You shall destroy all you come across, and I shall be so proud. Help! Help! Sorcery! Prime Mineral Rogus. That is my very first. Prime Mineral Rogus. <laughs> uh, Rogal. Funny name. You are no human, but your star force will be the linchpin of our defenses. Yes. 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 Shut it. And my favorite son, boy. Oh, my lord, I'm extremely powerful. 
Yes, you are. You shall conquer all. Now go. Claim our birthright. I will kill. This, is, this feels like, you know, the story of the Emperor of Mankind and his sons, the Primarchs, you know, doing their great crusade and then, <laughs> and then Horus the Procal betrays and yeah, someone between the three there or yeah, I don't know which, maybe Boy, yeah, maybe Boy is going to betray uh, the not God King Supreme, yeah, maybe he's going to betray, yeah, I see it, I see it. My lord, the people are fat and happy off of our idyllic agrarian society. I have lost the ability to fly as a result, but I don't really care. It is quite beautiful to see. Our empire will become a refuge, a place of progress, peace, and milk. Can't wait for the first annual Federation Fest. It's gonna be tight. Now I will drink. Oh, greetings. Greetings, fellow Federation member. My species is in dire need of aid, for we have been ousted from our home by savage space crusaders. By the yarn, that is terrible news. Of course you are always welcome to take refuge in our empire. Please aid me, my brain is as ruined as the fleets I once owned. Save my people whilst I still retain perception. Oh, no, please, you're welcome, but who, who did this to you? Attack! Getting on. We are toast. I demand aid. Y yes, come, move in. It's fine. Oh, my, my, this is horrible. <laughs> what is happening to my nice galaxy? No, a nice galaxy has been turned into a battlefield. And why aren't? Where are your fleets? Yeah, why aren't you getting ready for battle? <laughs> Boy, I will tell no one except for every single one about this. You are my absolute favorite. Ah, uh, and then your other children, are they not your favorite too? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I elect you Warmeister. <laughs> yeah! I must return to our home system. But as my most trusted vassal, I trust you to lead the crusade in my stead. Okay. What do you do though? I cannot tell you. I just do not trust you! Never have I felt more down in my heart. Sorry, can't hear you. Empire to Micromand and Space Drugs to do. I believe now would be a pertinent time for me to reinforce my trade lanes. Excuse me, Warmeister. What? Who speaks? What are these strange clicky contraptions? Everyone is leaving. Integration has been completed. That was easy. My doctorate in social economics is coming to use. Take that, Dad. Can't believe we finally found use for that affordable housing edict. Been sitting on that forever. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I know what the Emperor's. Oh, the Not God King Supreme is doing. Um, if you guys know about Stellaris Nemesis and you become the Crisis and you create a i forgot what they call it oh man i forgot what they call that thing that you construct around the star so that you can access uh the shroud you know you can transcend your entire species into the shroud i forgot what they called it man oh no but if you if you've played stellaris nemesis then you know what i'm talking about you understand what i'm talking about if you don't i'm sorry we continue so, on to the crusade issue. Greetings! Heard you were having a crusade problem. Uh, yes, that is correct. I can aid you. My empire is expansive and controls choke points that are directly on this crusade's warpath. I can help you with this in exchange for a favor. What is it? A lot of resources. Like, a lot of them. Just send them my way. Why aren't they attacking you as well? Nah, man, this is fishy. You're very suspicious. Right. Even with our resources, you really think you can raise enough troops to defend against the onslaught? <laughs> Funny you should say, raise. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was actually funny. Uh, how is that funny? It just is, my dude. If you don't know, you don't know. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> dude, trust me. I get my lawyers prepared on the cheap. Dirt. Cheap. Fine. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Great. Tell me when you're ready to wire me those sources. Thank you. <laughs> no sense in throwing away hard-earned labor when I can get a friend to do it for me. <laughs> I am pondering the worthiness of our cause. Greetings, fellow Empire. Hey, hey, hey! Would a better me be here to drop off a counter crusade's worth of resources to your doorstep? You giving me money? Yeah! I don't know. You have the makings of Imperial authority within you, kiddo. Trust me, I don't say that lightly. I've seen the insides of plenty of folks. They all stink. Your insides are bound for greatness. Huh. The hubris of my grandpa. Yeah, attaboy. <laughs> I think I smell an up-and-coming empire a-brewing. Yeah, completing transaction. I have become God. <laughs> yeah, bye, have fun. I mean, you have an option. You don't have to use force. You can just go to the galactic community uh, and, and just, you know, create the custodianship and then you become the Galactic Imperium and you become the Emperor. You don't have to take it the military route, you can take it the diplomatic route. Um, but for the sake of, you know, the end game crisis and the stability of this game, yes, I think you should just start eliminating all other empires, you know, just for your game's stability. Because when the end crisis comes here, uh, you know, you're going to be very slow, it's going to be very boring, and, you know, things are just not going to be as exciting as they were in the beginning of the game. Yeah. If you guys don't know, understand what I'm trying to say here, I'm sorry, I, I can't help you. <laughs> you need to play the game to understand what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, good luck, boy. Holy crap, he's terrifying. Right, Jeff? Yeah. Bulldozing whole mountains to make way for pleasure domes makes a man feel big. Oh, father! The enemy is at our gates! Sorry, we are being attacked? Yes! The frontier sectors will find one minute, then... Oh, Whammo! They just swooped down through the Prime Mineral's territory without resistance! Who could just slip on by the literal living brick wall without getting attacked? Your vassals have betrayed you. Or oh, should I say just one? Arch traitor! The self-proclaimed bimper of a boy's bulbous vampire! Every sound you just uttered was horrible! We are under attack by... Boy? Our fleet has been lost. 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 Oh, get No! No! My sweet baby darling boy! Why have you turned on me so? You taught me to hate Brazen child boy, you come here right now. Okay. We have some time to prepare. Quick, rally the defensive. Uh oh, he used jump drives. Oh no! I gave you jump drives. <laughs> Putting bees in front of words that defiles the humanly tongue! Eat me, bitch! Ah! Ow! Fucker! You have slain a man so carelessly, so horribly, 
I don't even know who that one dude was if I'm so fucking angry. But you they are beyond redemption. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Great, now my nose is broken. Father, this is horrible. I was having fun building my empire. You ruined the fun. I am experiencing intense trauma now, and you are to blame. You ruined my immersion. <sighs> Screw this. I'm done. You all suck. I hope your empires crumble to ash. Oh, he rage quit. Boy, please. Wait. I can move the vessels upon the shining black window? <laughs> Lads, it is done. We look to a more optimistic future, knowing the threat to the galaxy has been stopped in its tracks. Though we are all sundered by this dreadful war, we are definitely better off now than we were before. Ha! It is the future year, and there is only war. The Galactic Federation is no more. Constant wars and a galactic market as stagnant as a Gulantha herd has led to little actually happening. It is the second millennium, and things suck really hard or something. Sucks really hard or something. We're just waiting for, you know, the mid-crisis and then the final crisis now. Yeah. So? Listen, my loquaciousness is low as my brain is throbbing. Get me the hyper aspirin. How is progress looking? Mm, good news and bad news. Good news is we're doing all right. Stocks are up, unemployment is low, and everyone can afford the latest Walt Toft Meyer album thanks to the stimulus package. You sound like some dude from Megacorp uh, Empires or something. Yeah. Right, and the bad news? Bad news is the rest of the galaxy sucks. That patchwork of nations the human empire collapsed into is still squabbling. The galactic market is still in ruins because someone flooded it with excess resources. We're basically the only people who have energy credits now. Uh, I wanted everyone to be well and... And yet here we are. Oh, and there has been an uptick in mass grave robberies. And that the mass graves have been robbed of their occupants. Like, galaxy wide? Yeah. Who would need billions of corpses? Unless. Truly remarkable. Your empire, I mean. Greetings, by the way. It's me, the trustworthy one. Science officer, how come he and Jeff haven't been added to the block list? Trade agreements mostly. Well, oh. oh. There are no permanent enemies and no permanent allies in Stellaris. And now, <laughs> this Pashati Absorber has shown all of his cards. What? You mean to tell me you haven't enjoyed my financial aid? I have, but tell me, how is it that everyone but you and us seem to be engulfed in terrible civil wars? Katie's making some insinuations! I hope... I thought you said you weren't going to call him that. And now here you are calling him Kitty again. Yeah, ne? I hope you have more than a hunch to insult your absolute best friend. We got the receipts. Oh, vaguely responsible and highly deceitful in today. I can't help but notice the fact that you are the only one able to flood the market with enough resources to crash it. Only you seem to be involved in every minor squabble that breaks out. Only you seem to be the one to survive and thrive this mass crippling of galactic civilization. And that is to say nothing on the death toll. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what if it's crippled? Isn't that the point of this perpetual war game we play? No. Uh-huh. Oh, the point of the game is to win, Necroid, not to keep them locked in a never-ending stalemate. Uh the issue is that you can never really reach the end of the game. You know, I, I think I've only reached the end of my own game session, maybe like twice. But usually I never reach the end <laughs> because I have to deal with, uh, you know, how slow the game uh, becomes, especially when you're reaching like the late game stage. And 
<clears throat> sometimes you're also dealing with uh, the crisis and the crisis becomes extremely difficult and you just don't finish the game you just start a new game so you know instead of focusing on finishing the game you just build your armies uh, fight against other empires control other empires as your vassals um, and you know become the custodian or the galactic em imperium and yeah you just enjoy that about the game not really necessarily finishing the game yeah i don't know that's just me i don't know about you guys maybe you guys finish the game uh you know in totality but i just don't <laughs> i always make a new empire excuse me asshole on a web we surveil the battle in progress in your armies we noticed among other faces the blorg who were wiped out completely in the war of unrequited love. You think you've caught me, huh? Vile cat thing! Do you know what's more annoying? The end times! You ever wonder what happens if you peer beyond the veil, planet spawn, galaxy rending terror and destruction? I won't have it! Our galaxy is in perfect equilibrium thanks to me. No unhinged researches, no extraneous discoveries, and no end times. Just enough war to keep the necrophage rolling and to keep you flesh bags in stock. There is no narrative to drive us to the brink. Only sweet, beautiful setting. I am utterly confused by your incessant babbling, and the one thing I know is that you are wrong. And I am utterly horrified by your destructive need for progress. The one thing I know is that you should stop it. Keep your horrible yearning for development away from my galaxy, and stay in your awful little wholesome box. You waste of primordial soup. Bye. <coughs> I like that guy. <laughs> I like I like the percentage absorber. He knows what he's talking about. Not you. Wait, what's your name again? Since we're not supposed to call you kitten. <laughs> oh gosh. Science officer. Should I prune the blacklist, Lord? Contact some of our old Federation allies. I have an idea. If we can bring him back from exile, his fleet could be strong enough to tip the scales. Yeah. He's going to need resources. I don't have any. I blew it all on hyper aspirin and <sighs> pleasure domes. Yeah. Technology expensive, lacking funds and resources. I am getting robbed of my resources by foul pirates. Please help. We have some funds left over. Sidekick as a pirate pays off. The artisan troop requires a defense against the hordes of rampaging space cow jellyfish. We acquiesce. Then if you all can fund us, I will dispatch some envoys. To find the not god king supreme. Those wasted blood bats! Oh, you think you can- Oh, you have another thing coming. Jeff, get the hugger on the line. Tell him we found some new friends for him. Even the ambiance, you know, sounds from the game, you can hear them. Or uh, the humming of, you know, when a ship is traveling in, in, uh, in space. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Well, it's no St. Helena, but it'll do. Hey, G Lloyd, uh, we know you are getting shot on back there. You doing okay? Trying to. You having fun at least? Yeah, I've been better. The galaxy's kind of crappy at the moment. Not surprised. Why do you think I'm out here harvesting on this moon? Look, we need you to come back so we can whip the guy who wrecked your empire. Already did that. Or is no more. No, see, we found out there was someone else. They bankrolled a boy into betraying Stop you. Stop saying words that start with B, and I mean. Show me to this conniving 
accuser, so that I may render judgment with my massive fists. Follow us. We're heading back to your old core system. Uh... Was this honestly how I left this? No, it was marginally better. I think. Oh no. What are those, pirates? <laughs> hey. Well, these ships are new. Hello, I am Vulcan, Hugger of Worlds. Please pop fetch your bodies into my tractor fields. You and your people are now my friends forever. Emergency warp, emergency warp! Fuck it. End time. <laughs> Event crisis dot one nine nine. Event Crisis dot one zero zero zero. Event Crisis dot two zero zero zero. See you all in Super Hell. Ah, oh, genius! I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Uh, well done. Uh, what is his name again? Not King, uh, not God King Supreme. Well done. <laughs> destroyed, armies scattered, cities crushed, people annihilated. Your insolence has cost you your empire. Hey, space asshole! Hate to break it to you, but you're not doing so hot yourself! Shut up, you're banned forever. Ah! Whoa. Hey, what the hell That's is this? Who? Eldad? Yes, how come your planets aren't wrecked? Oh, the Scourge is uh, converting your homeworld. Oh gosh, look at all of that. Nice to hear from you too. I'm not doing anything special. Good quantity of reserve fleets does wonders for repulsing attacks. How did you manage a fleet strength of a million in this economy? Not engaging in wars every five minutes is about where I started. Uh, oh please. Whether you know it or not, the galaxy is still coming to an end. No? It's still doing just fine. We made sure those invaders weren't tampering of any core worlds. We should be good. You can join us in the festivities if you want. No, you don't understand. Listen, friend. The Triple Crisis is nearly over. Their invasion corridors are being handled. It should only be a few months now. But you don't- uh, Hush, we're about to watch the yarn ball drop. New year and all that. But this is Back the- Back on the block list with you. Wow, congratulations. Congratulations. Ah, you finished the game. Oh. <clears throat> In the end, the only one among us to survive, indeed, thrive, was the one who did not wage wanton wars, abuse others for some grand plan, or cause grief on a galactic scale. It was the one who assisted others, ensured his own stability, and tended to his own above all else. Ah, oh, this is tripe! Tripe! I won, though. You did win, but only because you were boring. Boring! <laughs> I don't think... Extremely boring. The, bi <laughs> the Billy Scratch Coalition of Good Lads. Yeah, extremely boring. I think so. Your victory was a fluke! Your victory was, as all of us agree, boring. Yeah, yes. Rain, little basic boy. <laughs> cool subjective opinions, everyone. Here in reality, though, I remain the king of game. Bye. Ugh. Gamers. Thank you for letting me play. Can I add you to my friends list? I have no idea who any of you are, but you all seem very nice. Hey, anyone wanna get cuckolded in Crusader King? <laughs>
Låt mig just bara komma i en karaktär här. Okay guys, that is it <laughs> with if the Beamer Pro If the Emperor had a Texas piece of ice, uh special seven space game pain made by Bruva of Abusa. Um yeah, the Stellaris uh you know influenced in this video really was really good. I enjoyed it. I really really enjoyed it. Um, it's just taking me back to all the times when I also play Stellaris. I think I played Stellaris maybe like what now? It's been a, a week ago. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> still very fresh in my in my memory. And yeah, it was good to see how they incorporated uh, the storylines from Warhammer 40k into the Stellaris universe uh, and making this video. And you know, with the Emperor, or should I say, not God King Supreme. <laughs> And his Primarchs, uh, the three Primarchs that we saw there. And yeah, you know how <laughs> they used console commands uh, for, for the crisis. <laughs> the end times, the three end times, you know, popping in. Yeah, that was good too. That was very, very good. And yeah, you know, what is his name again? The, the Belly Scratch Coalition of Good Lads. Yeah, they were extremely boring. Yes, they might have won the game, but they were boring, really. They had no fleets. Well, they had fleets and they used them just purely for defense <coughs> purposes. And not really, you know, fighting against other empires. And yeah, ultimately, yes, the plan did work. However, the plan was boring, really. It was boring. I would never play like that. I have to do something, you know. I can't just create all of these forces and then just let them sit here and watch as the rest of the galaxy just goes about its business without me interacting with it no i can't do that i have to <laughs> destroy some planets here or there you know and fight other wars here and there and you know win the al gates uh, and with the terminal um, terminal degress uh, 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 solar system so yeah i need to be active i can't just sit and you know have my people be happy with their, uh, you know, unlimited, uh, you know, goods that have been given to them and, you know, living this utopian lifestyle. No, that's boring. <laughs> we need to have action in the game. So, yeah, I agree with all the other, uh, you know, other empires in this galaxy. And, yeah, guys, this was fun. This was really, really fun. <laughs> I really did enjoy it. Um, if you guys want to check out the original video as well as River Alpha Booster's YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. If you like my reaction, please give me a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos and I will see you guys next time. Okay, good night. <laughs>